Now we'll take a look at the gearing that we're going to uh, be putting on this bike. I'm going to be using a Sturmey Archer crank set, 44 tooth. It has um, chain guards both inside and outside the chain ring. I had this mounted on another bike, but uh, I moved up to a larger chain ring for that one, so it already had the already had a set of platform pedals on it. And then we're going with a 20, uh, 23 tooth cog, so 4423 on 26 by 1.75s. Uh, I just worked out the gear inch calculations to somewhere in the order of uh, 31.5 at the low end to 70.8 at the high end. So it's not a fast bike, but fast enough. Uh, you can still get 20 kilometers an hour out of it without pedaling too fast, so that's uh, going to be good enough for this. According to Sturmy Archer's uh, specs, this crank set runs a 45 millimeter uh, chain line uh, with a 110 millimeter bottom bracket. So we're going to measure uh, the chain line on this uh, setup here to see what we come out to. Okay, now we're going to work out the chain line here. We're going to start by confirming the overlock nut dimension. It should be about 122 to 123. And we're just about bang on 122. So that means that the center line is at 61 millimeters. So now we'll measure the inset of the uh, cog. center. And we're at 18 millimeters. So 18 from 41 or from 61 is 43. We have a 43 millimeter chain line. So if this was a road bike frame that we were dealing with, a 43 millimeter chain line would be about right. But with this style of bike, um, the issue will be chainstay interference. Um, probably not with the crank, but with the inner uh, chain guard, for sure. We might be able to run a 43 millimeter chain line if we took the inner chain guard off. But I uh, would like to leave it on if I can. So um, we flipped the dish cog around and remeasured, and we're now working out to a 48 millimeter chain line. Um, so hopefully that'll work out for us, and uh, we'll be able to use the inner chain guard. I've had to discard them before for other builds that I've done. I prefer not to. Like I said, if I can keep it on there, I will. But if it won't fit, it won't fit. And we'll just go with the outer guard. One thing I've found with uh, Sturmey Archer uh, specifications is that they're usually um, not right on with their chain line uh, specifications. In this case, they claim that this crank set uh, should run a 45 millimeter chain line with a 110 bottom bracket. Well, I've just put a 108 in there and it's measuring out at about 47. So that puts it within a millimeter of the correct chain line. Uh, with the cog dished out, so a millimeter for a bike like this, uh, one millimeter variance on the chain line should not matter at, at all. And uh, we do clear. We're going to be able to use the uh, the inner chain guard, which is good. So it should work out just fine.